First tonight, the Martin County Sheriff's Office is investigating a dog training and pet sitting company after a Palm City couple says one of their two dogs died in the company's care. Yeah, WPTV News Channel 5's Kate Hussey sat down with the family and also followed up the Sheriff's Office. She has more on the investigation tonight. The Martin County Sheriff's Office tells me they've tried reaching the owner of Positively Paradise. That's the dog training company in question multiple times, but haven't gotten an answer. It's frustrating for Dan and Adele Santos, who tell me their dog died in the company's care. Good baby. Get your ball. Marlon, get your ball. Peeking into the backyard of Adele and Dan Santos. We're just crazy. What? What is that? What is that? Can you go get it? Can you go get it? Go get it. Yay. What you don't see, the pain Adel Santos feels with each and every throw. Gotta live a long time for mom, right? Two dogs fetching instead of one. <laughs> there's no, there's no explanation that I know yet for that healthy dog to have died. The couple says their other flat-coated retriever, Mako, died after they left both dogs with Positively Paradise for two days. We don't know what happened in that 48 hours. The dog trainer and sitter recommended by a friend. The owner even assuring the couple through text both dogs were okay. Until Dan Santos came to pick them up and found Mako unresponsive. What did you do to my dog? Dan and Adele rushing both dogs to pet emergency. The vet giving Marlin fluids for dehydration. And he had bacterial infection. Giving the couple news that Mako didn't make it. I mean, I just, I didn't want to believe it. The vet's preliminary cause of death, excessive heat. They're doing an autopsy, so we do not know conclusively. The couple contacted the Martin County Sheriff's Office. Deputies now launching an investigation into the business. We have multiple times tried to meet her face to face. That has not happened yet. Our animal control people did interview employees that were on scene. They did issue some citations for other animals that were kept in crates that didn't have water there. Debbie Budensyke says other employees said the animals did have access to water. The investigation right now hinging on the owner and the dog's autopsy. Take place so far, we can't take any criminal action at this point because we don't know what caused the dog to actually pass. In the meantime, Adele and Dan hoping for answers. Can't, I can't tell you how much I loved that dog and how how responsible I feel that he may have at all suffered. That's probably the thing that haunts me the most. The only thing helping those haunting thoughts. Whenever you're ready. Now. You're all ready now. The unconditional love of a dog still healthy. Zip. Nope. Good gosh. <laughs> and the hope what happened to Mako won't happen again. It's the only, the only light in any of this is if we can make sure that this never happens to another family.